Congressional District 28 runs from edges of Star County out to Webb County, Laredo, then areas to the north. The Democratic ballot uh, has a longtime U.S. Congressman Henry Cuellar on the ballot. Uh, some of his challengers say he's been there too long. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing following this race, and he spoke to them about their experience and agenda. The District 28 race, three Democrats, seven Republicans, in a district that won 58% Democratic in the last race. In Congress, you got to have a little bit of experience. I mean, that's the bottom line. The challengers to Congressman Henry Cuellar say it's been too long. What does it mean when someone is in office for 18 years and they spend half of their time away? Congressman Cuellar pointing to his position as the only Democrat from Texas on the House Appropriations Committee, saying it brought a lot of money to South Texas. I've been able to deliver uh, funding. Uh, as you know, when the pandemic hit, we brought in millions of dollars for the Valley uh, for pandemic relief, the American relief. Uh, I voted and supported for the bipartisan infrastructure that would bring $30 billion to the state of Texas for water, broadband, roads, and bridges. We're looking forward to what can be done with the new infrastructure bill to redevelop South Texas. Not only for a lot of the road infrastructure, but there's also monies uh, there uh, for broadband. There's also monies there for uh, electric charging stations. As you know, there are people that want to have uh, electric cars, uh, but there's no electric charging stations. Challenger Dania Benavides, a community organizer who worked with the Laredo Clean Air Coalition and the No Border Wall Coalition. We knew the importance of fighting back, um, you know, to not allowing another term of the Trump presidency potentially be the determinant of whether Laredo was going to get a border wall or not. She says the less populated regions south of Laredo, Star County and other areas are underserved and in need of more opportunities and basic services to keep people there. We need jobs and better health care and fully funded public schools. We need to fight for our clean air and clean water. And one thing that, you know, I think a lot of us, um, we can all agree on, we want to keep our community safe and we want to make it so that we can prosper in our communities. This primary race happening after a recent FBI raid on Cuellar's Laredo home and after a close election for Cuellar in 2019 against Jessica Cisneros, who's running again. Fortunately, she was not able to speak to us. Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News.